Hello, Blue Team. It is April 30th, the last week of April, and we've had a fun week walking through the last week of Jesus' life and his resurrection and teaching kids about humility all month. Today, we're going to focus on our memory verse, which has been from Philippians 2, 3 through 8, where it says, don't do anything only to get ahead. Do it because you are don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourself. Have you ever looked at any of the other translations of this verse? I was listening to a teacher recently, and she used a version that, said, that starts out with, Don't be selfish. Do you remember how we started out this whole month when I was talking to you about it? That we looked at being selfish or egocentric. And... Um, what what the ideas of that looks like how has that played out in your group this month have you seen some selfishness rise up in you or even some of the kids in your group i always find that when i'm studying something like this i'm a lot more aware of some of my actions and also the actions of those around me as we as i dive into god's word and figuring out what it says for us when we take time to examine our natural response in most circumstances, like standing in line and someone cuts in front of you, what happens? Nine times out of ten, I say that is not fair. They cut in front of me. I've been waiting here longer. That's not fair. And that's true. It's not fair. Jesus took fair, though, and stood it upside down because he deserved so much more and he humbled himself time after time after time so that we could have a relationship with God. Why would we expect fair? Jesus didn't even get to live in a fair world. If we can help kids know two things this month, this is what I would love for them to walk away with. I would love for them to know that Jesus loves them or loved them enough to be humble even in death and then rose to show God's power. The whole reason he was put on the cross was because he claimed that he was God. And what did he do after three days? He came back to show his Godness. The second is that because Jesus did that, because he was God, because he was fully God, we can put other people's needs and desires and wants ahead of our own. How else will anybody else ever know about God or the power of God but for us to humble ourselves so that we give God some space to work? You know, a lot of times I have to step out of the way so that my kids can see that I am trusting God. And when I trust God, they have more of a reason to want to trust God. Now, that doesn't always work. We have teenagers, and they're quite sure that they know the better way to do things. But I am convinced that through our faith, the kids, are, the kids around us, even the little ones, are learning that because we're putting ourselves aside to help them grow and to learn more about Jesus, they can do the exact same thing. Following God with our whole lives is the goal for every single one of us. And when we follow Jesus, we're always on the lookout for ways to turn things upside down and put others first. So this week in your small group, kindergarten, first and second grade leaders, you're going to go back to your drawing that you've been doing all month about your kingdom. And maybe you do a big presentation with everybody and talk about the kingdom and whatever you created in your kingdom. It should be a fun way to pull everybody back together. It might be a really good way to remember all of the stories that you've told this month, too. Then we'll head to large group. And after large group, you'll come back to your small group. And there's an interesting activity for you guys to try. If you have trouble with this with your little ones, um, I would say do what you can, okay? So each kid is gonna get about eight or 10 um, paper clips, and they're small paper clips. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna link them together. Do you see how I linked this together? To make a bracelet so that I can wear it on my, on my wrist. 
And then you're gonna take the fun tapes that we have in your basket and give each kid just a tiny bit of tape. No more than that much tape, about an inch. And they're gonna wrap it around the middle of their um, paper clip like this. To make it look like a bead and if you feel like this is something that everybody can do ideally we'd like for each kid to walk out with two of these if they want to if you're if it's taking a long time and everybody's getting frustrated maybe they just decorate a few of the beads like I did when I first started this like every other bead or something and maybe they can finish it at home what they're gonna do is they're gonna take one for themselves and they want to take and we want for them to give the other one to somebody else and they can use this as a way to share Jesus with that person. And also to, as an example of how they are learning humility, where it's not all about me and I'm not keeping all my special treasures just for me. I'm going to help give some of that away. I'm going to help teach somebody else about Jesus. I'm going to help somebody else learn to love and grow like I am. All right, so that's your that's your activity for the day. Um, I looked that up on YouTube. If you want a, a better explanation, you didn't quite understand what I was doing, um, look it up. And there is a I think it's a WikiHow um, video out there that said that um, these are called washi tape paperclip bracelets and they show you exactly every step you want to do if you need a little bit more explanation. I hope that helps some of you guys that don't feel like you're crafty at all. All right, in your basket you have your ducks. Um, you'll use your ducks one more time to help, sell, to help you separate into groups. Each duck has a number on the bottom of it and that number will help you separate into groups. I'd like to keep the ducks. Um, if you want to give them away, that's going to be okay. We'll, we'll go purchase some more if we need them. Um, we do recycle as many activities as we can so that we can use them later. All right. Um, and remember, when you separate into those groups, you're going to have each group do a different par portion of the memory verse by this time in the month. And especially because we emphasized that in our lessons today, they should get it. And um, I can give you candy if you'd like to give prizes for those who have memorized the verse. Uh, we want to encourage that kids learn those verses because uh, when they when they need those verses, they'll be there in the ne in the future. Your um, last activity is to pray with them, and um, during this prayer. We want, to, um, we want kids to think about um, how sometimes it's hard to put others first and we think of ourselves first. But Jesus turned it all upside down and put others first every time. That Jesus is worthy of following and molding our lives to be like him because like we learned last week, Jesus called us all to tell people about Jesus and we can do that best by letting God work through us. That means that you have to get out of the way and giving up what we think we deserve. Pass out your God time cards and encourage families to find ways to serve together and to um, learn and grow in Jesus together. I hope these videos have helped you. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Call or text me if you have any questions. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.